first of all, I think it's, it's helpful, particularly for those who are watching by webcam, uh, to know that uh, the, the members here today, plus uh, Mr. Governor Meehan, who is not here but was here for part of the meeting yesterday, uh, discuss this. And now uh, Michael and Dana are on the phone, so you can... Michael Meehan and Dana Perino are also on the phone participating. Uh, we're, we're, we're involved in, in this, and, and I think it's important to, to, to have a little bit of discussion, not necessarily for the benefit of board members, because they know it all uh, in terms of what well, we, we went we through. Know it, all. know it all from what we went through yesterday, but also but for the public at large, because we are a publicly funded agency that responds to the, the people of America, and are, we're all appointed by the President and confirmed by the United States Senate. Um, as to why we're moving, and I normally speak for myself, as to why I, I voted for this and, and support it, but also put a caveat down uh, that the devil's in the details in terms of where we are. But today is, is a first step, uh, hopefully the first of several successful steps along a journey. Uh, I am not persuaded to be for this because of the monetary savings. The monetary savings, in my view, to be honest, are modest. Uh, now, eight to twelve million is a lot of money by Knoxville, Tennessee standards, but out of a budget of seven hundred thirty million dollars, it's much more modest. Uh, but let me say, whatever savings, be it a hundred thousand or two million, are worth doing if you can do them and if they make sense. And waste it should not occur in duplication or uh, or whatever, regardless of the amount of money involved. But that's not a motivating factor. It's just an auxiliary. I'm not necessarily motivated by the Deloitte uh, study. I found it interesting and helpful, but not uh, totally persuasive as to why I personally am voting uh, for it. I am personally voting for it because I think it just, in the bottom line, makes sense. Uh, and I didn't need a study or anything else to tell me that. In fact, there will be one-time expenditures which almost equal one, the first year savings in terms of consolidation if, in fact, you go forward with this. And that's something everyone should know. We, you know and this isn't an effort to uh, rift or reduce the number of employees. It's an effort to improve the quality of service and the delivery of service to nations which experience censorship and have totalitarian regimes and whose mission in life is to deny the people of their nations uh, accurate and objective information, whatever it may be. That's why BBG exists. Uh, and while the brand name BBG is nearly as well known as Voice of America and Radio Free Europe, Radio Free Asia, uh, it's there, and uh, and we are the group established by Congress that has to move in this direction. I think consolidation done properly will be a good step forward in terms of the new era that we live in, and in, in terms of media transmission and uh, the, the dramatic changes that are occurring almost monthly. I mean, we all know our personal computers out of date a year after we bought it, maybe before, and uh, the same thing's happening in media communication, whether it be Twitter or Facebook or uh, social media or whatever. And I always look to my 21-year-old son to tell me what's going on because I'm always challenged in this area. But uh, but I do. The one constant is it's change. Um, I think it's also important to recognize that the. The caveat will come in the details. And I think, just to be put our cards on the table, the nine members of this board will have different thoughts as to how the structure ought to be created. Uh, and I don't think any one of the nine members will be successful in getting 100 percent of what they want if each one were drafting it. I hope what will occur is that there will be a consensus among the nine members, where if you can get 70 or 80 percent of what you think is there, and you don't think the 20 percent that perhaps would have been your first choice is so objectionable that you didn't put you off the reservation, that you could arrive. Now, I realize in some quarters compromise is, is not a popular word, uh, but I think we, we proved yesterday compromise can work, and I think hopefully, and this is going to be a month to month in some detail process, by which uh, the board members will need to give and take. I mean, Governor Linton and I will certainly work on some draft languages. 
Governor McHugh has forgotten more about the Hill than what most of us know in terms of congressional relations because she is a product of uh, uh, Hill staffs and, and knowing the ins and outs of the, of the Senate uh, in particular. The, uh, I think, but again, we could come up with a plan which, in my view, could be so bad that I'd no longer vote for what I'm voting for today, or it could be so good that I would uh, try to jumpstart somebody on getting there first to make the motion. Um, and, I, and the truth may lie somewhere in between. But I hope we approach it with the standpoint of what's best for international broadcasting, what makes the most sense, and, and move forward. So that's where I'm coming from. Um, I think it's important that we notify the various constituencies, uh, not only on the Hill, but throughout America. Uh, we all know different uh, entities, be it the uh, Persian Network or RFA or RFE, uh, have groups that have keen and unyielding interest, Cuba Broadcasting, in, in where they're headed. And people feel very strongly about it. Uh, and all, and I feel, also, we're, we're in a time where there are many exciting developments going on. You look at what seems to be changes in Burma, where the government actually may be undertaking a real change. We'll keep our fingers crossed, but the current indications are pretty good. Uh, on the other hand, governments like Syria and Iran are going the opposite direction. And, uh, and yet the need is even more to make sure we're being effective. And, uh, and and to move in that regard. So I'm, uh, yeah. that's, that's a long, but I think uh, needed explanation where I'm coming from. The devil is in the details. Uh, I'm hopeful that at the end of the day, if I'm, uh, uh, when this comes for a final vote, I'll be in a position to vote yes. Uh, but I also want to put a marker out that uh, while I don't expect it, uh, there could be a plan where I thought, it, didn't merit my support, and I wouldn't support it. Uh, but I, I'm approaching it from the standpoint, good will occur, and that will yield a positive vote. Thank you so much, Victor, and thank you for all your help in this process.